Hey there, Papper people. My name is Jason. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist. Uh, if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Can you make a video showing how CPAP works, but this time use the VCOM attached to that special machine and a balloon or a water bag, bag like you did years ago? I'm a visual learner and I'd like to see how the pressure changes with the VCOM. In this video, I wanna show you the effects of CPAP, basically how CPAP works and how things like EPR and VCOM greatly affect your therapy. Do me a favor and check out the sponsor of this video, CPAPsupplies.com. Okay, I have the CPAP on right now. We have an AirSense 11. CPAP is running at five. I have my iPad on here. This is simulating basically an obstruction. The bag is slightly collapsed. That means our airway is slightly collapsed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pressure and I'm gonna increase it up to 15 centimeters of water. And you're gonna watch exactly how fast this opens up. This is simulating your airway. We have airway collapse. Airways collapsing from the weight of like a soft palate, uvula, something, tongue. CPAP is going to add energy to open that up and allow you to breathe. So here we go. 15 and just watch how fast this opens up. So CPAP is providing the work, it's opening up the airway. So with CPAP, you can see this little bounce right here. That's because every time you exhale, it's creating dead space. And so when it increases, the CPAP is having to ramp up to try to fill in that dead space. This is greatly annoying for a lot of people. So people will get things like their cheeks puffing out, they'll have mouth leaks, they'll get aerophasia from just straight CPAP. Now, Let's go ahead and try EPR. EPR stands for expiratory pressure relief. All machines have some kind of a version of this. Uh, sometimes it's called A-flex, sometimes it's called C-flex. Uh, sometimes, I can't remember what Fisher and Paykel is called, whatever. I think it's actually EPR also. So let's see what EPR3 does. Now I will say, I have a lot of videos talking about EPR. Uh, the, common con the common belief is that I hate EPR. That's not true. I think EPR has its place at much, much higher pressures. I do hate it for low pressures. It tends to cause more problems than it solves. So what EPR does is on every exhalation, it's gonna drop the pressure. I'm gonna have it set to three. So it drops the pressure by three centimeters of water. This allows the airway to collapse. And because the purpose of EPR is to be smooth, it smoothly increases the pressure, smoothly decreases the pressure. When you need pressure and you need pressure now, for CPAP, that causes a problem because now you're effectively running lower than what you think you are. So first I'm gonna drop the pressure to eight and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on EPR. We should see this sag. Okay, this is simulated breathing with regular CPAP. There's a really rapid response. Now watch what happens when I turn EPR on. This is really gonna slow down quite a bit and that's not in a good way. Right there, I just turned it on. See how the rate changed and now the bag is actually sagging a lot lower. That's because the airway is being allowed to collapse a lot lower and it's not able to increase the pressure enough to overcome the obstruction. So let's go ahead and turn EPR off again. It's gonna speed up, it's gonna become faster response. But we still have that bouncing, right? That bouncing again is what causes aerophasia, cheeks puffing out, general discomfort with high pressures. But it's effective. It opens up the airway effectively. Now let's try something like VCOM. This is a really good time to mention the sponsor of this video, CPAPsupplies.com. They do sell VCOM. I'm gonna go ahead and explain what it does, but you're gonna see how it really minimizes this bounce. It makes, the, it makes breathing with CPAP much, much smoother. I'll try to do this fast. Okay, we wanna get that bounce back, right? Because we're that's what this is all about. Remember before I just kind of pushed on it, let it go and it bounced? It's not allowing it to do that now. So what this is doing is when you're inhaling, it's slowing down the inspiratory flow. That's decreasing that blast of air that you get. It doesn't allow it to blast you. It's a smooth transition. Breathing feels very smooth. Your cheeks aren't gonna puff out. Your mouth isn't gonna pop open and cause a giant mouth leak and you're gonna have a much less likelihood of aerophasia from decreasing all of those. So I personally use VCOM in my setup. Um, since I put it in, I, I first tried it because I actually thought it was stupid. 
and I've left it in because I realize how much better my sleep is with it. Now, just like EPR, although EPR sucks, except at higher pressures, there is a consequence to it. So when you put it in, it does decrease the inspiratory flow. Expiratory is higher, but some people are uncomfortable with that inspiratory flow decrease. And it also does have a therapeutic effect, slightly decreasing the overall effectiveness of the pressure. So you will, if you're like using, let's say 10, you'll probably have to increase your pressure to 11 with the VCOM in, possibly even 12 with the VCOM in. Now I will tell you, it feels like less, uh, but your therapy is, the trade-off is good. It's a, it's a smoother therapy. Now, whether you want to buy a VCOM or you want to try something like a mask liner, like the Easy Form Pro, I did a video on those recently, you can always use discount code LEFTY20. That's going to save you 20% off your order of any mask or accessories. It's also going to add 100 loyalty reward points for your order. That's going to equate to another $5 off. So please do me a favor. Check out the sponsor of this video, CPAPsupplies.com. Uh, excuse me, Jason. Uh, you kind of phoned it in on that one. Uh, a slow transition, uh, zooming in with one screenshot. Uh, CPAPsupplies.com does those much better than that, Jason. Okay, essentially we're done here. But I do want to mention bi-level and why bi-level is different. Bi-level is a different animal altogether. I find that it's very effective in people with upper airway resistance syndrome or people who are just actually really, really obese. Both of those populations need a lot more energy to help open up their airway. And if you liken this to something like a trampoline, it's a trampoline effect. By level is a trampoline effect. So CPAP, even though the V comes in, it's just, it is what it is. It's just kind of holding up the weight. Now, if you're to jump off of a trampoline, that's going to provide energy and make you jump much, much higher. That's how bi level works. So as it decreases on your exhalation, so it's at a lower pressure, and when you inhale, it's gonna rapidly increase with you, much like a trampoline, it's pushing up as you're jumping up, you get like a multiplier. So that's gonna open up your air, airway very quickly, very effectively. Now that's, that is needed for people, like I said, who are super obese or who have upper airway resistance syndrome, which is basically just tissue that's dense, it, it's not easily moved. So hopefully you enjoyed this pseudoscience presentation. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one PAP therapy analysis with me, check out axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Then I definitely want to say thank you to the Patreon supporters I have, all the YouTube members that I have. And one last thank you to the sponsor of this video, cpapsupplies.com. All right, thank you, bye. Clean your stinky mask with some mask bright available at Amazon. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick, <laughs> thanks butter to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espolong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swaringen, Chengtu Chen, Edward Steiner, Erin Stevenson, Deborah Permute, and Shannon Kerr, and another slightly less thick thanks, buddy, to all the other YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and other stuff.